miss your voice, miss your smile Everything about you worth the while Always wondering where you are I hope you're with us near or far Many questions unanswered
are going to start in a short while. Family members, you could come up as we build the coffin down to the pulpit. If you could come and follow. Let us all stand, please.
shall we pray good afternoon hallelujah almighty god and our father we give you thanks and we bless you we thank you for this afternoon we thank you for this moment we pray god that you lead that you direct that you protect us for the balance of this proceeding so god that you'll give us strength that you'll comfort us lord and that everything oh god this afternoon will go unhindered in the name of jesus we pray amen and amen you may be seated good afternoon to everybody to all those who come to support who come to comfort the family we want to bid you a warm welcome this afternoon today we don't want to mourn but to celebrate the life of a man George Edwin King George, St. George, Wa, Fue, hallelujah. We want to celebrate his life. He impacted the lives of many persons. I, I heard a man sitting with my brothers and saying how much my father did, our father did for him. And that that was a destiny helper for him, that he got into construction because of our father you look throughout St. Lucia and persons will tell you this is the man who built a house who built a wall and things of that nature he impacted the lives of his children most of them pick up the trade and by extension because of his work their work his memory would live on The person who got up in the community of Lakudoi, who opened the shop very early. <laughs> and he would make a sign to some people, I don't know if Yurik is there, and to give Yurik his first shot of white rum in the morning, Yurik is not going to get that anymore. So he's going to remember that. And Lloyd, amen, who looks for him every morning, that this is the person, 
you know, and people like Glenn and our father had a name for everybody. Whatever your name was, he had some extension to that name. And um, when I sat with his wife, Miss Pam, and I said, saying to her, what do you want me to say to remember him? He said, just because you make it a person fit. He said, I'm going to go to the house. He touched people's lives. And this is what life is about. We will come just as he did and we, we will go. As King Solomon says, we will go the way of all flesh. But what do we leave behind? The imprint on people's lives. And this is what he did in many persons' lives. When our sister Celia would go to work in the morning, that he would meet her and said, you know, hope you have a good day. Be careful on the road. These are some of the things that they remember. And I'm sure that his sister Rosalind and Julie who are there, that they would remember they growing up with their brother and so on. And though death is something that we can never get to be accustomed with, what we ought to do is to celebrate the lives of those who have lived, who have come and contributed in our lives, and that they have moved on. Every one of us will at some point in our lives. And so I understand that we will cry and we'll mourn in different ways. But the important thing is the contribution that for King George, St. George, George, have made in people's lives. So we thank you for coming this afternoon to comfort, to strengthen us. Amen. To be there with us, to help us to carry, amen, what seemed to be a burden when everyone faces that time. So let's give God thanks, let's give God praise as we go throughout through the service. Amen. And may God bless you. Thank you, everybody, for coming. God bless you. What a friend we have in Jesus.
still a refuge. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Do thy friend despite the sin. This time we call for the first reading. The first reading is taken from Thessalonians 4, 13 to 18. But we would not have you be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye not sor sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if you believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sheep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you, by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming, remain unto the coming of the Lord, shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the triumph of Jesus of God, and dead in Christ shall rise again. Then we sh which are alive are remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Thank you, praise God. Therefore, comfort one another with these things. Hallelujah. So as we prepare for the second reading, we're going to take our another congregational song. The goodness of God. Can you please stand? Thank you. I love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails me. All my days have been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head and I will sing of the goodness of God. All my life you have been faithful. I love your voice. You, you have, have helped me through the fire in darkest nights. You are close like no other. I've known you as a father. I've known you as a friend. And I have lived in the goodness of God All my life you have been faithful All my life you have been so so good and every breath that I have made oh I will see 
of the goodness of God, I will sing of the goodness of God, I will sing of the goodness of God, I will sing of the goodness of God, I will sing. Of the goodness of God, I will sing, I will sing of the goodness of God. I will sing of the goodness of God. I will sing of the goodness of God. Good afternoon to all. Our second reading is taken from St. John chapter 11, verse 21 to verse 27. And it reads, Then said Martha unto Jesus, Lord, if thou hadst been there, my brother had not died. But I know that even now, whatsoever thou wilt ask of God, God will give it thee. Jesus said unto her, Thy brother shall rise again. Martha said unto him, I know that he, will, he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believeth thou this? She said unto him, Yea, Lord, I believe that thou art the Christ, the Son of God, which should come into the world. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Bless the name of Jesus. So we're going to sing another song. It is well with my soul. With Jesus, it is well. And then we're going to hear our sermonette. What does the word of God have to say for us from our, the man of God? Amen. Let us remain standing as we sing the song. When peace like a Yes. 
Powerful confession for us to make. So thank God for mercy as we welcome the man of God this afternoon. Pastor John. Yes, good afternoon to all. Have your seats, please. Good afternoon to all. Always remember it is the celebration of the life of King George. I'm not too sure if it's King George the first or George the second. But it's one of the king, King George. The judges, they all came from Europe in England. And I'm happy it would seem that he looked as though he was a nice, friendly man. Look at this beautiful smile on his face. I stand here before I share um, on behalf of the church that I pastor and even my immediate family. I want to extend my deepest condolences to the family, the Edwin family, um, Pastor Eric, my good friend, and also, I didn't know Leo. I didn't know this was your father. Leo is my good friend, as a matter of fact. His stepfather and I, we are first cousin. So I know, but I'm getting to know the family now. Yes, and this service this afternoon, Yes, it's his funeral service, but we don't speak to the dead. The Bible says the dead knoweth nothing. Happy to have my good friend, Pastor Niles, with us, and even all the other pastors among us. I want to recognize you. We won't be too long this afternoon. Maybe it's a little hot, but permit me to finish what I have to say. I'm not preaching for Mr. George, for sure. His destiny is already settled. I'm preaching for the living. Yes, yes, Pastor Budu, nice having you in the house. That's what. Yes, I couldn't see. We are happy to have you, friend of the family. Okay? My text is taken from the book of Proverbs chapter 5, 11. Proverbs 5, 11. At the end of your life, you will groan. When your flesh and body are spent. When your flesh and your body spent. At the end of your life. I want to share a little thought with us. Entitled, At the End of Your Life. At the end of your life. At the end will be very everything that you work for. At the end, the Lord will hold you as long as in your hands 
it will vanish and paint at the end you will know who you really are and not who you pretend to be at the end your life must be the light of truth and not false you must hold up to the light since we all come to the end of our years and in the short while the beginning of an order let us look back on our years that is past and look forward on the years to come we are looking at a lamp a lamp with four sides a lamp with four sides and we give the title of that lamp at the end at the end today we'll examine the past the present in the light of at the end i have said it is a lamp so number one the first side of that lamp death is the end not the end these past years has been very very it was more a years of dying rather than living it would seem that more people die than live some of us can look at ourselves and say why are we still here yes we had so many close call but god was merciful somebody say amen god was merciful to us let us take you to our own death we must think of our own death for every time there is a funeral we must always ponder and think of our own death hello look at the various activities of your life which you believe that is great how will they look to you at the end you make money and you make it fast you did it very clever oh yes you praise yourself for it and now you are dying what do you do with all of that at the end i'm happy to hear that mr george i didn't get the eulogy but i'm told that he had a shop Pardon me? Oh, okay. Daddy don't need a eulogy. But one thing I get to know, he had a, a shop. And I'm also, I believe that he was very friendly. When people come to that shop, look, I'm seeing the type of nature of person he was. He had a nice smile. He communicated with people, right? And maybe he make a little savings. Somebody say amen. Yeah, there was a little savings. But at the end, he can't take nothing with him. Am I right? Look at our, our selfish action in the light of death. Oh man, you have worked hard. You have saved quite a lot. And there is nothing wrong in that. Save. Put on a fiev. Somebody say amen. amen. That's right. But can you take any penny across the river of death? The Bible says you brought nothing into this world and it is certain you can carry nothing. Yes, for clean you come and we must understand that. All what you work for at the end it means nothing. But the Bible says lay up to yourself treasures in heaven where neither more for rust destroy. Are you hearing me? In other words, in all what you try and save, make sure you work for God. Give your life to the Lord. Oh, you need to clap your hand for that. Work for God. At the end, that's what will count. Are you hearing me? It's not the amount of money you save. It's what you do for God will count. Dear friends, some of you will look at yourself, righteousness, in the light of death. You are a very good person and i believe mr george was a very good person somebody say yes you think i don't know about him the children say they love to come to the shop oh somebody clap your hand for that the children in cicero they would walk they want to come to mr george's shop very upright honest moral friendly genuous yeah and so on and continue do you think this will bear any weight when you come to die no sir dying souls need more than sand to rest on the coffin 
Yes, you will need the rock of ages. Somebody say amen. Then let you be assured the light in the light of the grave. Listen carefully. Only the confidence in the blood of Jesus will take you out. Hello. I'm preparing myself when my end come. Many of us will start well, but we end bad. May I say to everyone here, better is the end than the beginning. Pastor, how should we end that journey? The journey of life. Let me tell you, end it with Christ in your heart. Oh, clap your hand for that. You end it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mr. George will say, don't cry for me. I have lived it all. Are you there with me? There is a song like this, of course. Don't cry for me, Argentina. Hello? If I die today, fake sure, pastor, tell my wife, don't cry. I want nobody to shed tears for me. Because lo and behold, I will be on the other side. I must ensure that I end it well. How will sin appear before you come to die? How will sin appear? How will the life that you live, how it will appear? It will haunt you. Sin is pleasant now. And we can, listen carefully, excuse it, call it venereal sin or a little mistake. That's how people call it now. How will sin appear when you come to die? The grown ghosts of our iniquity. If they have not been laid in the grave of Jesus Christ, they will haunt you when you come to die. Hello, vivant la vie qui bon. Vivant la vie qui propre. Pine volvoyen congagé. Let the church say amen. Love vini pour mon camon, bon mon. Somebody say amen. Think not only the root of evil, but the fruit of evil. Remember that the wages of sin is what? Death. But the gift of God is eternal life. There is often to be life in a man. And in his time of death, God always gives us an opportunity. You would praise some people while they are alive. Yes? But when they come to die, you would change them, your mind. Let your car just say, Bell Moon, Bell Moon. Oh, call him mommy. Dim mommy, bonjour. Are you there with me? Me let your car finish more. Shalom, let me. Only put shebe yo. Only put mawe yo a cord. I can speak because I have seen both all three people die. I have seen the unbeliever die. I have seen the wicked die. And I have seen the Christian die. Are you hearing me here today? Oh yes, Balaam, before he died, Balaam, he said, I want to die the death of a righteous man. How many of you all want to die the death of a righteous man? It's obvious that he was there when he saw the wicked die. It's obvious he was there when he saw the sinners die. And he said, oh, that's how death is. When he saw the wicked die, he said, Messiah, Messiah, I don't want to be like this at all. But when he saw the righteous die, the Bible said, the righteous just fall asleep. Just close your eyes. That's how the righteous die. They don't have all this turmoil. Woi, woi, shale, shale. And they're sweating, sweating. No, no, no. The righteous just fall us. And by the way, you don't bound to be in my church to be righteous. Wherever you are, if you surrender your life to the Lord, you can die the death of a righteous man. Clap your hand for that, man. A lot of people believe church saved people. After you are saved, then you go to church. Yes? <laughs> and hear what he said I want to die the death of a righteous man not only that and may my end be like theirs my end my what we all have to end that journey one day and by the way it seems Mr. George was a clever man yeah a smart man and God always afford us a last opportunity before we die even on our deathbed for us to say, Father, have mercy upon me. Write my name in the book of life, that I may be with you forever. Are you there with me? This is the hope of the believer. You could have everything that you have in life. If you don't have Christ, you have wasted your life. Hello. And I want to preach to some of you here, you know. Because some of you, because God has blessed you, pride has entered your heart. And you feel that you are too big to say good morning to those who are older than you. 
Are you there with me? Pride always lead before a fall. With whatever God has given you, whether riches, whether wealth, whether asset, are you there with me? Always remember, we are human and we came from the dust. Dust you came and dust you must return. Somebody say amen. There are lots of people who are not going to be able to do it. And then there is a bad man who is a bad man. Pastor, preach it. Hello, when in the boat to Tolu, on young papa lay by lot, he left on him fair bag. I write take ne bonu. Oh, yes, God tell me, say to you, are you there with me? Love your neighbor as yours. Somebody clap your hand for that. Hallelujah. Oh, so the first side of the lamb, the lamb, we don't have a lamb, four sides. The first side is in the context of death. The second side, yes, the second side of the lamp in the light of judgment. It's talk about what? Judgment. After death comes what? Judgment. When we die, listen carefully, we don't really die. Job asks, when a man die, will he live again? Yes, he will live. That's not the end. For his spirit never dies. It is not possible that we should die and become extinct. No, because we are immortal. Are you there with me? Let us think of this judgment for a moment. We will rise from the dead. We will be there in our body as well as our spirit. Scripture talk about the first resurrection. Somebody say first resurrection. The resurrection of the believers and the resurrection of the unbelievers. Every man and woman will give an account of his life. So fair and we say kai power and clete. And by the way, it will not be secret. You will be there to witness that the angel is saying it loud. Kotote your swear. Mwate ka vole John Joseph. Sell by John sa by vole pies. Somebody say account. We have to give God an account of everything that we do. Hello? And some of you, you try to escape the eye of the pastor, the eye of the priest, but God see you. Hello? In the light of judgment. Yes? Everything that was done in darkness will be brought to light. How will you face it? It will stand, you will stand before the King of Kings. You can't say it's not you. The account is true. It was recorded. Are you there with me? Do it. As to my grace, what they will be in the light of judgment. There is a little story. A certain man once felt in court sentence was to be given to his case huh? and he thought that this case would be called so he rushed to his attorney and said have you done everything that you can do are you sure for if i lose this case i am ruined i am a ruined man yes his face was filled with anxiety and so it is with us you and i today we have done everything. Have, have you done everything that you can do? Are you sure, brothers and sisters? Are you sure? For if you lose this case at God's throne judgment, you are a ruined man. Yes, sir. Have you given up your self-righteousness? Have you left your sins? Have you given your heart to the Savior? Are you born again? Are you saved? If your case is lost, you are a ruined man. Brothers and sisters, is that anything, it has to be complete. Ensure that everything is okay. Because if you lose your case, you are ruined for all eternity. Misewap. Hello? In light of the judgment day. So yes, let's look at the first side of the lamp. And remember the lamb brings light. The lamb brings what? When I come to the end of my journey. 
Are you there with me? I'm asking God that grace that when I come to die, I'll have the privilege to call my family, kiss them, goodbye. Call all my friends and say, farewell, I'll see you on the other side. Are you there with me? Because I've lived my life. Are you there with me? And by the way, if you live your life right, you will die right. Somebody say amen. Hello? So here it is. In the third side of the lamb, at the end of our life, is the light of heaven for some. Some of us will go to... And by the way, God don't want none of us to go to hell, you know. Heaven is made for every one of us sitting here today. The Bible says heaven, hell was prepared for the devil and his Are you there with me? Come and level are you there with me and if mr george make it right king george his place is sure in heaven are you there with me whenever he made it right because let me tell you good character good personality cannot take you to heaven hello he said on born arm hello i heard he loved people he loved children somebody say amen but with all this love that he have it cannot take him to heaven are you hearing me but as a wise man he know he was saying goodbye mommy and i'm praying for you yeah i believe this is a good soul and power's boots went pair Bon Dieu fond pour mettre bas où? Il dit, il married. I am married. Bon Dieu dit, I God am married to the widow. So we ring ça là où ni actuellement? On vous met un lot ring. Et ring ça c'est ring Bon Dieu. Où ma yek Bon Dieu actuellement? Clap your hand for that. Bon Dieu qui peut care. Somebody say Amen. It's not easy to see your husband go or a loved one go, but God has made promises to us. Are you there with me? He's with us, not only with us, but he said, he's married to the widow. Yes, sir. Somebody say amen. amen. So in terms of heaven, we hope when the day and years has passed that many of us will meet the path, we will not path no more. No more on the other side of Jordan, a place of eternal rest. Somebody say rest. A place of no regret. Somebody say no regret. A place of joy and happiness. Somebody say amen. No more sickness. No more death. No more tears. No more sorrow. A place of praise and worship. Yes, sir. We will sing the song that the angel cannot sing. Amazing grace. How sweet the song. Somebody give God a high note of praise and worship. I leave to go to that place. You and I can go to that. That place. I don't know how I can't tell me. Say, see ya. Who can you learn to open in the plimis and the lot side? No, 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 no. I told my nuka hele. And by the way, I have to say to the children: If God move upon you to cry, don't be afraid to cry. Then you man don't do so wrong a song. Because Sigmund Freud, the big men do not cry. Hello? And by the way, this is not your friend, this is your dad. Mommy! When you come, I say, and I say, God, wipe the tears from your eyes. Pamelek moon. Tan mwen. Le, le, avini, si, le, avini, pou, hele, hele, ukai, fil, meye. Somebody say, Amen. I don't need a hoko, a hoto, go, pou, hele. When I do, mwen, come, pastor, de, le, na, fe, seten, le, te, man. Ek, glo, ka, kulan, zye, me. Na, hele. Ek, me, ka, tan. Mwen, sa, tan, yon, de, moun, a, congregation, a, pastor, ka, di, eh, gale, pastor, ya, ha. Somebody say amen. 
to come and I preach by the God forbid, Pastor Eric. You just need me. Woo, my, my dumb way. More Adam, on accident, let me. God forbid, eh? Who can I say like that? Push by the Oh, you did me, madam, my dumb accident, keep more. Let me take a dick with to John of Saint Avenicia. Hello? Somebody say amen. amen. How many of you all would like to go to heaven? Heaven. Somebody say heaven. Hello. Heaven is mine. Oh, somebody give God a high note of praise. Heaven I'm going to. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. That's why we live for. That's why we will die for. Are you there with me? I don't mind living in this world and have nothing. Ma mind ma she actually pers to les you. Ma mind ma pani ma je be mani on sell hard. Me ma ka fall south. Heaven si possess from me. Finally, everybody say finally. Last thing, we now turn to the fourth part of the lamb, yeah? and it talk about hell. That fourth part of the lamb end the end of our life in terms of hell. Oh yes, bring that lamp hair. How will unbelief look in the flame? Unbelief. There is no unbelief in heaven and none in hell. Not even demons fell into that trap. For the Bible say, the devil believe and he tremble. Are you there with me? There is another fact that is important here. How will, oh yes, procrastination seems to get to hell. In hell you will remember. Somebody say remember. You had the opportunity, but you did not make it right with God. In hell you will remember. Are you there with me? Don't wait. Don't procrastinate. Tomorrow is not yours. Are you there with me? Some of you all believe you have long time. People die quick. Hello? Are you hearing me? Never believe you will have time. How will the gospel, the light of the gospel be in terms of hell? You will remember the preacher was preaching. You will remember Pastor Joseph preached here. Make your calling an election. Don't leave this place if you don't know God. Hello, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what church you attend. Are you there with me? We all must make it right with God. Religion have divided us. Hello. Some people believe Pentecost is the best. Baptists and Catholic. We are divided. God is one God. Whether you are Catholic or Pentecost or a Baptist. If you know the Lord as Lord and Savior. Let us serve him together. Oh clap your hand. You need to clap your hand for that. Divided by religion. It's religion that killed Christ. Are you there with me? There is a hell at the end. There is a heaven at the end. The choice we make now will determine your life to come. May I encourage you? Choose life. Choose. The Bible says, choose it this day. Whom you will serve. But Joshua say said as for me and my house we will serve the lord do you want to serve god this day all those who want to serve god just raise your hands beautiful beautiful just raise your hands forget about people forget about who's sitting next to you it's a communication with you and divinity are you there with me even as we pray every eye close every head bow i desire that every one of you could stand make it right do not procrastinate do not think you have another opportunity today might be your last day are you hearing me everybody stand with me please in the name of jesus i just want you to repeat this prayer after me every one of you 
all those who raise their hands all those who believe in what i've said just raise it the lord will see that hand every eye closed repeat this prayer after me say oh god i thank you for your son jesus christ who died on the cross and lord jesus today i come before you i am asking you to come into my heart and save me forgive me from all of my sins write my name in the book of life and help me lord jesus that i may live for you the rest of my life in jesus name father i stretch my hands towards your people oh god you know them by name you know them by nature you know where they sit you know they're uprising and they're down sitting father we bring them before you especially those who raise their hands i pray god that you'll give them oh god an experience with thee wash them from every sin write their name in the book of life and give them the courage and strength that they will serve you in spirit and in truth i bless them now i reverse every curse of sin that have been placed upon them and i bless them in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit and everybody say everybody give jesus a good clap offering man have your seat for a while king george will see you we'll see you again for those who sign in the register please just join me right here by the table bless the god so whilst we're going to sign we will take the special song amen a special song whilst we sign the register Sometimes late at night I lie awake and watch him sleeping He's lost in peaceful dreams So I turn out the light And lay there in the dark And the thought crosses his mind If he never wake up in the morning I will even doubt the way I feel about him In my heart If tomorrow never comes I really know how much I love They'll try in every way to show him everything that he's my only one. And if my time on earth was you, and he must serve this world without me. Here's the love I gave him in the past. I got to be enough to last. If tomorrow never comes Cause I've lost loved ones in my life Oh, you never knew how much I love them And I will live with the regret that my true feelings for him Never were good I made a promise to myself To see each day how much I love them In void circumstances where there's no second chance To tell him how I feel 
Better than that. I really thought it was a CD playing there. I didn't realize it was in person. Beautiful song. And I'm sure, oh Lord, I'm sure you remember where the granddad. Yes, at this time we would like the immediate family to please stand. Oh, you have a song. Wait, please. Wait, please. Come.
Thank you so much. Come and put your hands. Put your hands together for them. At least you are strong enough. Many of us will not be able to do so much. At this time, we would like the immediately the immediate family to just come and stand for form a semicircle around the casket. The rest of the congregation, if you could please stand. And when we were praying, we want you to stretch your hands towards the family as a form of contact. A form of contact. We have a good friend here, Pastor Niles. Pastor Niles is Pastor Eric's good friend, my good friend also. So we will engage him. That's all right. This is nice. This is nice. We would like him to offer a word of prayer with the family. Everybody stretch forth your hands. Pass. Praise the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we, we want to give you thanks because you said in everything, my God, give you thanks. Even in situations like this, circumstances like this, Lord, we give you thanks because you work everything for good to them that love you and to them that are called. Father, I bring this family before you, O God. Father, you are the present help in the time of distress. Even as they mourn the death of their loved one. Lord, I pray to comfort them at this time. Comfort each and every soul. Comfort the sons, the daughters, the cousins, and the, the wife. Comfort them, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we need you. We need you, Holy Spirit, in this time that you... Everything, Lord, that has been broken, every disconnection within them, Lord, I pray, Lord, for unity. I pray, Lord, that they will cooperate, that they will love each other even more. That even what, even what they experience now, losing their father, and how that situation brought them together, I ask that, Lord, that you cause them to be so knitted together. And Lord, that they will continue to understand the power of unity and serve you in spirit and in truth. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, be Lord of their life. Even areas where they have left off, Lord, help them to continue, rise up and put you first in everything that they are doing from this day onward. May you comfort his wife. My God, you know how, what she's going through. You know how she loved him all her life. And I pray, Lord, to restore and strengthen her at this moment. Give her strength. Give her peace. Let her know that she may not be disturbed by any other thing, my God. But let your presence be felt. Fill her with your presence. And every one of them, Lord. All the family, keep them knitted together. Father, we come against every plans of the enemy. Every word that has spoken against this family, in the name of Jesus, I cancel it, I dismantle it, and let the peace of God rule this family in Jesus' name. And Father, we give you thanks. Amen and amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. You may be seated. The rest of you could take your seats. Make sure you take your belongings as we prepare for the recessional. Yes. God be with you. Um, thanks. Okay. Thanks. Before we do the recessional, I call for the vote of thanks by my sister Celia. And while she's coming up, I want to say thanks to Pastor John and the, the board, the leadership of the church for all the help, all the support. Thanks. Mm. 
Good afternoon, everyone. As I stand before you, I would like to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for taking time out of your busy schedule to celebrate the life of a husband, father, brother, uncle, nephew, grandfather, and friend. Our family can't express how much your generosity has meant to us during this difficult time. To those who assisted in any way being in cash, kind gesture, being with us at night, telephoned, sent flowers, cards, prayers, condolences, thank you for the amazing contributions. It made a world of difference and having your support help us through this difficult time and for those remaining so positive and helpful during these past few weeks. I honestly can say thank you enough. Just your presence and kind expressions of sympathy and friendship will always remain in our memories. I thank you. Praise God. Good afternoon again. Can we stand please? as we do our closing prayer this afternoon thank you very much hallelujah father and god we just want to give you thanks and praise father we worship you O god we exalt you O god O thou where is prayer to the shallow flesh come oh you indeed you are the comforter you are the great i am you are jehovah jireh jehovah nisi jehovah shama everlasting father hallelujah for this day as oh god we want to thank you oh god as we have come to the end oh god uh, of this service and father dear god we want to thank you for everything uh, that have oh god transpired oh god even right now father we pray that the word that went out so oh god will take root into the hearts uh, of men and women in this place today in the name of jesus christ of nazareth but father we pray today that somebody oh god uh, has accepted you that someone oh god uh, has surrendered their life to you oh god and father today uh, we continue to pray oh god for strength and comfort to god uh, for the family of god today and father today we come against oh god the spirit of death that may continue oh god uh, in the name of jesus christ from now we speak peace uh, we speak life in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father even oh god uh, as we are about to leave and to go to the cemetery we come against every plan of the enemy we come against incidents and accidents uh, in the name of we come against the spirit of crime and and violence oh god uh, in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father we pray oh god that you will just take control of everything that's going to continue in jesus name we pray amen We will do the recessional in an orderly manner. Amen. After the um, casket, then the family, and then you'll follow us, please. Thank you.
Miss your voice, miss your smile Everything about you worth the while Always wondering where you are I hope you're with us near or far Many questions unanswered Oh, the 
Family members, we go close the casket. Brothers and sisters, everyone on your leaflet, there is a song, Blessed Assurance, you want to sing. And those who are there to see the body, this is your last chance. Come quickly. Blessed Assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a fortress of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God. Born of His Spirit, washed in His blood. This is my story, this is my song. Praise Him, my Savior. This is my story. This is 
my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all day long. This is my story, this is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the Somebody say praise the Lord. Friends, we are gathered here to come into the resting place, the body of our beloved brother, George Edwin, whose spirit is already with the Lord. While this part of earth will hold the form of one whose memory we will always treasure, we look not here in sorrows as those who have no hope. We believe to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord, and that to die is gain. We therefore commit the body of our beloved brother to the ground in the renewing and fresh hope of the soon coming of Christ, at whose appearing the dead in Christ shall rise. And we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them to meet the Lord in the air. And thus shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, we comfort one another with these words. Hear the comforting words of scripture. The Lord gave the Lord take her away, blessed be the name of the Lord. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. We now commit to the resting place, the body of our beloved George Edwin. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Thus you came, George, and thus you must return. The Lord giveth, the Lord take her away, blessed be the name of the Lord. Let's say our Father's prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord, we look to you, and we thank you for our life, our brother George. We thank you for his life. We thank you, we will always remember him, the good things that he has done, the relationship that he shared with his people. God, we give you glory, but the time has come. You are the one who determined whom to leave and whom to die. And you have called him home, even at this moment. We pray for strength for the family. We pray your hands will be upon them. Oh God, we mark this part of earth on this tomb until the day of the resurrection, when God will rise again. And until then, be with the family. Until then, strengthen them. Until then, unite them together. Oh God, that they will give you the thanks, praise and honor for the life of our beloved brother George. We thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. God be with you. Farewell, George. God be with you. Why? 
miss your voice, miss your smile Everything about you worth the while Always wondering where you are I hope you're with us near or far Many questions unanswered But now